Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. We are on day 25 of Hidden Figures, only three more Hidden Figures to go. And, okay, so I find today's Hidden Figure to be really kind of funny and ironic. So, today's Hidden Figure, Ro Rosalind, Rosalind, I think it's Rosalind G. Brewer, is an American businesswoman who is the COO of Starbucks and the former president and CEO of Sam's Club, um, which I don't know if you guys have Sam's Club, but... It's kind of like Costco. Um, and I find this to be really funny <laughs> because whenever we have like the cultural appropriation conversation, somebody almost always pops up talking about, oh, well, black people shouldn't drink Starbucks thing because that's like a white people thing. So now I'm like, ha ha, bitch, the COO of Starbucks is a black woman. So how about whitey needs to stop drinking starbucks like it it was just like hilarious to me that like the coo of starbucks is this black lady like the shit was just fucking funny uh so rosalind g brewer was the first woman and the first african-american to fill the role of ceo at sam's club and as of 2016 she is listed as the 57th most powerful woman in the world by forbes brewer a detroit native attended cass technical high school in detroit she completed her undergraduate education at spelman college i also want to say that every time i do hidden figures and especially these daily ones it really strikes me also how many of these people attended historically black colleges and universities um and it just really also makes me think about integration if none of you have seen my video on integration please watch it it's called integration is a trap and i talk a lot about how in a lot of ways we were tricked into quote unquote integrating and giving away a lot of our best and brightest in terms of skills and talent and athletic talent and all, all you know all different types of things to white schools and predominantly white institutions where so many of our students end up being subjected to micro, like really horrible microaggressions and, and people trying to like squash them. When you see so many people that went to, to HBCUs that feel empowered and, you know, go on to like accomplish so much, it's just a really interesting concept to think about, like keeping keeping us together rather than quote unquote integrating and like keeping us within our own school systems and like keeping us being taught by our own teachers even you know the majority of teachers are white and studies have shown that most white teachers do not have you know that empathy gap for black students you know they they see us as a problem due to internalized racism and, and unconscious biases and they kind of corral us as problem children and it's just so interesting to like see again and again like how many people went to HBCUs and like how that impact, you know, how that really impacts being around your own people in order to learn and grow and thrive without having to be around like white people is just wild. Um, she completed her undergraduate education at Spelman College, where she earned a bachelor's degree in chemistry. She's a graduate of the Director's College at the University of Chicago Booth of Business, and she also attended an advanced management program at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. Brewer had a 22-year career at Kimberly Clark Corporation. Starting out as a scientist, she eventually advanced to president of the global non-wovens sector in 2004. When I think of Kimberly Clark, I think of like like toilet paper that they make like paper goods and stuff like that brewer's career <clears throat> with sam's club began in 2006 with her position as regional vice president over operations in georgia from there she became the division president excuse me of the southeast market then president of the east in 2012 brewer was named president and ceo of sam's club becoming the first african-american to lead that division she had focused on health and she has, excuse me, focused on health and wellness by doubling the amount of organic products offered at Sam's Club. Brewer serves on the board of directors for the Lockheed Martin Corporation and is chair of the board of trustees for Spelman. On February 1st, 2017, Brewer was nominated for the Starbucks Board of Directors and was named CE COO, excuse me, I started to say CEO, and was named as COO in September of that year. Brewer also formally served as a director of Molson Coors Brewing Company, and she is married with two children. In 2013, Brewer was named one of the world's 100 most powerful women by Forbes. The magazine also named her among the most powerful black women of 2013, and additionally, Working Mother named her as one of the most powerful working moms of 2013. She has been honored by Fortune Magazine as one of the 50 most powerful women in business, and as of 2014, 
2014, she is listed as the 64th most powerful woman in the world by Forbes. Brewer has also received the Spelman College Legacy of Leadership Award. And the quote that I want to read you guys is Rosalind Brewer, you can and should set your own limits and clearly articulate them. This takes courage, but it is also liberating and empowering and often earns you new respect. Rosalind G. Brewer, CEO of Starbucks, former president and CEO of Sam's Club, a hidden figure. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.